hey what's up guys and welcome back to anime king and today i'm going to be giving you part 13 of what if sonavi was naruto's mother remember to get this one to 100 like as usual share this to all of your friends on your social media platform and also go ahead and check out the new episode of what if naruto was trained by kaguya that i posted so go ahead and check out that and enjoy and over on Anime King 2, my second channel, I'm going to be posting what if Naruto joined the Akatsuki and what if Naruto had the Sharingan and the Byakugan mix. So stay in tune for those also. And if you're new and this is the first time you're hearing my voice and you enjoy the videos on both channels, go ahead and click that red subscribe button and join Anime King and Anime King 2 and become a part of the Anime King family and enjoy all of the videos and thank you for all of your help and your support and remember to go ahead and comment down below and tell me if you're new i'll be replying and talking back to all of you so without further ado let's get straight into this new episode so to do a bit of a recap naruto went to konoha as he told the raikage and snadi to back down because if they attack his village a war is going to start. He told Snadi that Danzo was the one who attacked him, so he had to retaliate and kill Danzo. And he told the Raikage that he came bringing peace, but the Raikage attacked him and tried to take his tail beast and destroy his village. And Naruto could have destroyed his village right there, but he didn't. And Yujito made up her mind to come with him. So Naruto told them to forget this nonsense and this war, or more people are going to die. But they didn't listen to him. As Naruto went off, Naruto then found himself face to face with Kisame. As Kisame challenged Naruto to take him to the Akatsuki. As a masked man was told by Kisame that Itachi is currently fighting off against Sasuke. As a masked man went over there and allowed Kisame to deal with Naruto and take Night Heels. As Naruto and Kisame battle, Naruto who was still getting used to the Renegon. He tore Kisame to pieces. Naruto has no control over the almighty push and is able to use all sorts of ability due to the Renegon. As Kisame didn't stand a chance, it was then that Naruto killed Kisame and after he killed him, Naruto's body started to react badly to using the Renegon ability and so much of it. As he collapsed on the ground, he then saw a pink hair as he was being healed as it was Sakura as she had followed him after he left the village but Naruto told her that he didn't want her to help him as he was angry he told her to just get away from him he never wanted to see her again she's nothing but a useless crap as each of those words were ripping Sakura heart to pieces as she realized she said bad things back then when Naruto got banished from the village but now she had no one Sasuke was gone Naruto was gone what is the point of her living anymore as she started to go into a deep depression but Naruto went off after he went off he collapsed again but Karin and Raymond appear as they saved Naruto and brought him back to the village to get some rest later that night Hinata and Lee was looking for Sakura as Sunavi had realized that Sakura wasn't in the village and after getting a tip that she was in the forest the both of them went there as they saw Sakura on the ground as Hinata saw the blood so yeah guys that was basically the last where we left off you guys can switch across the playlist and check it out for yourself so let's start this new episode we start by this episode with Hinata and Lee as the both of them rushed over as blood was everywhere Sakura Lee cried out as he flipped her over as he started to shake her wake up wake up he said as Hinata used her biak gun she was dead Lee it's too late said Hinata as she then saw Sakura's fingers covered in blood as Sakura had written something on the ground it was a name Naruto's as it wrote Naruto I am and a single letter S 
I am S? Why would she write that? Don't tell me. Naruto, are you responsible for this? Hinata thought. As Lee looked over and saw it as well. Naruto, I am S? What is this? Was Naruto here? Lee asked. As you remember, what Sakura said to Naruto back then? As Hinata remember as well. She hated Sakura for what she did, but she didn't want her to die. Naruto, don't tell me, Hinata said. Is Naruto capable of this? said Lee out loud. As Hinata was shocked that Lee was thinking the same thing. No, it can't be. Doesn't matter how angry Naruto was, he wouldn't kill her. He's a chained person. Lady Hokage has been holding back from giving the orders to attack him. But he has gone too far, Lee said, as he tightened his fist. As he was holding on to Sakura's body and started to cry again. She's really gone, Lee said. As Hinata started to cry as well. Don't tell me. Please don't tell me that you're capable of doing this, Naruto, she said. A couple minutes later, Hinata and Lee came into Sinadi's office. Hey, what is... As Sinadi saw the grim look on their faces. Lady Hokage, we have to tell you something. Said Hinata. What is going on? As Lee started to sob tears. Answer me, said Sinadi. We found Sakura. Found her? Where is she? She's dead. Hearing that, Sinadi froze. As she dropped back in her chair. She's what? Said Hinata. She's dead. Stop. This isn't funny, Hinata. What do you mean Sakura is dead? Said Sinadi as tears came at the corner of her eyes as she clenched her fist. We brought her body to the morgue. How? How is this possible? We found her out in the forest. Blood everywhere. There was also a kunai in her hand. As Lee then spoke, she also wrote something on the ground in her blood. But Sonali didn't say anything, as the news was sinking in as she didn't. She didn't know how to react. The news said Naruto I am S, said Lee. As Sonali raised her head hearing that, she wrote Naruto's name. Yes, it said Naruto I am S. Naruto I am S. What is that supposed to mean? said Sanadi. As she was so angry she crushed the table with pure force. Naruto, don't tell me you're capable of... Naruto wouldn't do that, said Hinata. Where did Naruto go after he left the village today? Do you have any idea where did he go, Hinata? asked Sanadi. No. I don't. Sunadi then got up. Where are you going, Lady Hokage? asked Sinata. I must see her body for myself. And she went off. As Lee then went out of the room as well. As Hinata collapsed down to her knees. Karuto, please don't tell me that you're capable of doing something like this. I know she hurt you. But please tell me that you weren't the one who killed her. Said Hinata. Back with Naruto, he was currently lying down on a bed as he was still resting after using the Renekon ability against Kisame as he snapped his eyes open. What is this feeling? said Naruto. I feel like someone is calling out to me. It's kind of weird. He then got up as he looked at the time. I've been sleeping for a long time, he said. As he then looked to his side, as he saw a cold glass of water beside of him. Hmm, I wonder who brought this. As he drank the water and stretched. Well, still have a lot of things to do today. As Nerton went into deep thought. Itachi, 
is facing off against Sasuke. That is what Kisame said. But can Sasuke defeat Itachi? Can he really kill him? Well, I need to find out what happened in this battle. But I don't know where they're fighting. But things will work out soon enough. I am just hoping that the Raikage and Tsunari will come to their senses and stop this madness. Because a lot of people are going to die if they keep this up. And if they hurt anyone here, I won't be holding back against their village. Naruto then got up as he went to the door. Oh yeah, I never checked on Conan. She asked me if I was going to visit her, but I never did. What is going on with her by the way? She wasn't angry that I took Nagato's Renegon. She was angry that I didn't come back and talk to her and I wasn't the one that gave her her meals. Does she like me or something? Naruto said to himself. But Yujito, things has really changed since I took the Renegon. I haven't seen her that much. Since that night we had that one date and it was ruined by the Anvus. Well, doesn't matter Naruto said as he got up. As he went to go check on Conan. A few minutes later, Naruto arrived at the door as he knocked first. Who is it? said Conan. It's me. Oh, Naruto, come on in, she said. As he opened the door and came in. As Naruto had a tray in his hand. I thought you might like something sweet today, said Naruto. As he brought her cinnamon buns, rice ball, and three cupcakes. Huh? This is surprising, she said. As he placed it down. And she also had a tall cup of orange juice and a glass of cold water. Well, today is a special day, said Naruto. And why is that, Conan asked. Well, it's time you get your freedom. I completely, 100% trust you right now. So I will allow you to roam free in the village. You can live at the mansion here with us. You don't have to stay in this room anymore. I already got a room prepared for you. Really? said Conan. Yes, I trust you 100%. And the Akaski is finished. All of the members are taken care of. The only person that remains. I don't know if Itachi is dead or Sasuke is dead. But that masked man, Madara Uchiha who you told me about. But I doubt that who he is. And why do you say that? asked Conan. I don't know. I just have this feeling that that is a different person for some reason. Conan chuckled. And why would you say that? She asked. It's just a hunch, said Naruto. So, aren't you happy? said Naruto. Happy? Why should I be happy? said Conan. Well, you're going to have your freedom. Freedom? The only person I really know here is you. So if I get free, who am I going to spend time with and talk to? You alone? she said. I guess you're right, said Naruto, as he rubbed the back of his head. You've been locked up in here so long. And the only person you really socialize with is me. So I guess we'll have to change that. Come on. Where are we going? She asked. I'm going to introduce you to everyone, he said. Conan stepped outside with Naruto. I'll eat these later, she said, as she walked out. As she never really roamed the place. She had bathroom, shower, everything in that spare room that she was in. Naruto brought her everything that she wanted. So she never had a reason to leave. But now, she was going to become a part of the Phoenix Village. I guess that is good, she said to herself. As the both of them walk along the corridor, as they arrive to the center of the mansion, as Naruto brought her upstairs to the first door, when they reach up there, Naruto knocked on the door. Who is it? said a voice. It's me. Open up. 
as the door opened to see Fu. Hello Naruto, what is? Fu then stopped as she looked at Conan. What is she doing here? said Fu as Conan turned her head. Don't worry Fu. I released her. She's on our side now completely. She's on our side completely? What do you mean? Yeah, I trust her now, said Naruto. Really? You know she was a member of the Akaski. Oh, trust me, she has changed. She's completely different now, said Naruto. Really, said Fu. As she walked up to Conan. Have you really changed? Fu asked. Yes, I have, said Conan. Well, that's good enough for me, said Fu. As Conan sweat dropped. Well, that was easy. Nice to meet you. I am Fu. Conan, and you already know that. As the both of them shake hand. Well, glad to have you 100% a part of everything now. Alright, see ya. As Fu went back inside and closed the door. As it went on like that for a couple of minutes, Naruto and Kona are walking around. As he introduced her to everyone. It was like that till Naruto reached the last door. Which was Yujito's room. As he gulped. He stopped there. What's going on? Asked Conan. Well, there is someone in here I want you to meet as well. So, call the person out. Well, it's kind of awkward. You see, I kind of go on a date with this person. You went on a date with her? Said Conan. Yeah, and now we haven't really talked since then because of the whole Anvo's killing Karin and all that crap, said Naruto. Oh, the night you almost snapped, she said. Yeah, said Naruto as he scratched the back of his head. But why would it affect me if you went on a date with this girl? Why would it be awkward? Conan asked. As Naruto narrowed his eyes at her. As Conan blushed as she stepped back. Wait, what exactly do you think is going on between us? She asked him. Well, I don't know, said Naruto. As Conan just turned her head, what do you think? He asked her. I guess we don't have to meet this friend of yours today. So, where do I sleep? She asked, changing the subject. Oh yeah, follow me, said Naruto. As she followed him, as Naruto opened the door and she stepped inside. As a smile came on her face, it was a beautiful furnished room. It also had another room, bathroom and everything, and this shower was giant. As it was much better than the place where she was before. As she had a large bookcase as Conan loved to read. She had a dresser, a table. She even had a large TV and a king size bed. This is all for me, said Conan. Yes, it is. I want you to be as comfortable as possible, said Naruto. Th thank you, she said to him. No problem, said Naruto. Just relax and stay safe. Alright. As she then came out of the room. Where are you going, Naruto asked. Well, I'm going for my cinnamon bun that you brought from the other room. And then I'll go inside and eat it. And don't disturb me, I have a lot of reading to do, she said. With a smile on her face. You know you can watch TV too as well. Books are more better. Said Conan. Really? Said Naruto. Yeah, you wouldn't get it. As she then went off, leaving Naruto by himself. Naruto then went outside. As he quickly jumped on top of the roof of the mansion. As he steered into the forest. I wonder... How will things change in the future, he said to himself. And you, Sasuke. I wonder if you survived the battle, or did Itachi kill you? But I guess I'll find out soon enough. Sir, said a voice, as one of Naruto's spy appeared beside him. Huh? What is it, said Naruto. I have important news, sir. Go ahead. Sakura Haruno is dead. Naruto froze after hearing that. What? Naruto said. Yes, 
her body was brought back to the leaf with two Konoha shinobis. They found her dead in the forest. And sir, your name was written there in her blood, saying Naruto I am S. Sir? As Naruto was still frozen. Wait, how is she dead? I I just spoke to her a couple of hours ago. Although I was rather blunt. I said all those horrible things. She's dead? Wait, run that by me again. Who killed her? Narta asks. That is the thing, sir. We think it might be a suicide. But others might think differently. And what do you mean by that? Narta asks. Well, sir. Your name was written there. And you went to Konoha and told them to stop all of this fighting. Or there will be a problem. And to not attack your village. And they can take this the wrong way, sir. She write my name? Why would she do that? I don't know, sir. But I'll continue to scout and gather more information. You do that, said Naruto. As he nodded and vanished. Naruto sat down. As he rocked his brain. Why would she kill herself? Why would someone kill her if it wasn't her? My spies aren't wrong. So why would she kill herself? Was it because of me? All of those things that I said to her? I was really harsh. But she deserved it for all that she did to me. But now she's dead. I wonder. How are the others taking this? Narda said. Back at Konoha. So Nade was in the morgue room as she was crying. Sakura's body lay dead on the table as Nade slammed her fist into the wall, breaking the wall as cracks were everywhere. As she then collapsed to the ground as they had do the autopsy and realized that these are self-inflicted injuries by the kunai that she had beside her. Why? Why would you do this to yourself? Snade shouted. How can you do this? And go away. Why? First it was him. And now you do this to yourself? Why? Snade shouted. Answer me, she said. As the medics in the room just looked at Snade. As they were thinking to themselves she was dead. She couldn't answer. As Snade stormed out of the room. As she went off. Snade arrived to the forest in a couple of minutes and she saw the spot where they found Sakura as she saw Naruto I am S. I understand now. You were right in Naruto I am sorry. Back then when you told him those horrible things and you were trying to apologize. All this time I didn't see how far in depression you was. You had no one. Sasuke was gone. Naruto was banished from the village. Even though your friends were there. Naruto was one of them. You needed him. He was always here to cheer you up. Knowing that he will go after Sasuke. That was what gave you hope. Because you wanted to see Sasuke again. But you went over the edge. And I wasn't there to see all the pain that you were in. But why did you take your life? Why damn it? Said Snaddy as she slammed her fist into the ground, tearing the forest grown apart. As she then collapsed again and started to cry. Meanwhile, with the masked man, he was currently in a dark cave sitting down. He does have it, said a voice. As Black Zetsu rose from the ground, he took Nagato's eyes and he now possessed the Rengon. This is going to make it more difficult to take the Jinjulkis from the village and take him as well. Yeah, you're right, said Toby. And his body seemed to react to it well. You watch a fight with him and Kisame, am I right? Yes, said Zetsu. 
I can show you it now, no. I will go over every detail of it later. But this still messed with my plan a lot. I can no longer walk blindly into his village and attack him like that. And it will be difficult. Knowing now that he has a two-tailed Nibi as well. Counting that, there is four-tailed beasts at that village. And the rest of the Akaski is done for. It's gonna be hard to gather them. But not impossible, he said. Now come along. I want to see the battle that you recorded. As Black said so and the masked man went off. Back with Hinata, she was at Konoha as she was having memory flashes of when she smacked Sakura in the face. Back then, when she heard what Sakura did to Naruto, what she said to him, Ino and the others has heard the news as Ino has broken down. She fainted after hearing that, and she couldn't believe it that Sakura was dead. As no one realized how depressed Sakura really was, she was hiding everything inside. And it seems like, after Naruto spoke to her in the forest, it finally break, and she decided that there was nothing to live for anymore, so she ended her life. As Navi had come up, with that conclusion, seeing that he was writing Naruto I am sorry in her own blood, the kunai was her own, she ended her life. As Hinata couldn't believe how depressed she was, she should have helped her, even though she hated her for what she did to Naruto, she was still a comrade and a ninja of Konoha, and she should have helped her. This is. All my fault as well, said Hinata. I showed her how heartless she was and told her that she was nothing but trash back then for doing Naruto like that. And now, she finally broke and killed herself. The next day, Naruto was in the office going over some paperwork as he still had it on his mind. Sakura really killed herself. As his spy came back and told him everything, that she ended her life. As Naruto couldn't believe it, she was that depressed. As he kind of blamed himself for that, but a part of him didn't feel anything. It was just like he didn't care. He blamed himself inside, but another part of him. Just don't feel it. He doesn't know why. It must have been because he hasn't really connected to her for years now. He was on his own, his own village. That's why a part of him doesn't really feel anything at all. But there was a small voice inside his head telling him that it was his fault. But right now he had things to do. As he knows Tsunade must be taking this hard since Tsunade trained her and they've created a teacher student bond, something that he never had with her since he left the village. But this should show her what war will cause. This Sakura's death is going to end everything, making Tsunade realize that if the both of them go to war, a lot of people more will die, people, and people will suffer and realize that death is all around. If they don't stop down this path, people will die. And Naruto decided that he has to go to Konoha and speak to Snavi once more. He will show her that there is no reason for them to war now and she has to talk to the Raikage and show him to stop this violence or more people will suffer and had to mourn their death. Naruto then got up finishing his paperwork as a ninja came into the room. Sir, the Hokage of Konoha is here to see you. What? said Naruto. Yes. She's here to see you. 
But guys, I'm gonna be ending this episode right here. If you want to see this part, if you already know what to do, like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that bell notification they posted. Remember to share to all of your friends on your social media platform. And also stay in tune because over on Anime King 2 tonight, I'm gonna be posting a new episode of What If Naruto Joined the Akaske and What If Naruto the Sharingan and Byakan Mix. But for now, I'm out of here. Peace.